Hey guys, Greg here from Premier Fitness Systems. Got a great video for you guys today on unlocking the hips. One of the biggest things we see with a lot of our golfers here is just limitations in the hips, internal, external rotation. You know, typically what we'll see is, you know, your limiting factor is going to be that internal rotation of the hip. So if that's bad, the external rotation can only be so good because it's limited by the internal rotation. So a lot of times really going after the internal rotation is going to help all around. Um, so what I've got today is a few exercises we like to use. Typically people come in, they've got tight hips, like to get them moving for about five, 10 minutes just kind of dynamically across the floor, jogging up and back, doing some hopscotch in place, doing some karaoke's, that type of thing. Just kind of get everything moving. And then we start to get into a few movements that I'm gonna show you guys today that are really great for opening up the hips. So the first one is gonna be the deep squat. So for clients that we have that have really tight hips, a lot of times their tendency is that they have a hard time getting the outside edge of their heels down and sitting up nice and tall because their hips are so tight. So what we tend to do with them is start with clients in a plank position and we're gonna bring the feet outside the hands. And what I want you doing is start to walk back and get the outside of the edge of the heels to come down, sitting back into the hips. Keep the hands activated through the floor and then coming back to neutral, squeeze the glutes, get a little stretch in the hips, and then coming back. Now there's levels on here. Some people can't get their feet down, so this is all they have. Or if you can get your feet down barely, it's starting to get the hands off the floor. So that's the first variation. If it's something where your hips are pretty decent, what we like to do is we'll do a step two drill. So we're gonna step into the deep squat. If you've got this, now what we wanna to start to do is work on the posture, so keeping the shoulder blades back. So what we'll do is work on activating that T-spine, sitting up nice and tall, chin's neutral. I want to drive the knees out, squeeze the butt through the hips so I get a good stretch, and then step back. So I'm gonna step forward, coming through. So on this deep squat drill, what we tend to do is try to do a set of 10. Either variation, depending on where you're at, the whole goal is just continuing to work on it a few times a week to get better. Second exercise we're gonna do is work on the internal external rotation of the hip. So for clients, what I want you to do is we're gonna start with feet a little wider than shoulder distance and I want the hands behind me facing away from me. So first one we're going to start to do is work on the internal hip rotation. So what I want is we're going to bring the butt up, knees are out, so I'm going to drop the one knee down and then I'm pushing the other knee into it. Good stretch, open the hips back up and I'm going to alternate. Coming in, good stretch, alternating. So go set a 10 on there five on each side. Then what I want you to do is we're gonna to go to the external rotation of the hips. So now I'm gonna pick my butt up. I want to slide one leg back. I'm basically driving this knee down while I'm trying to drive this knee out, keeping my butt up. If it's too much on your wrists and shoulders, you can bring your butt down. Just keep both knees active and you're trying to pull your shoulders open. So get a good stretch, bring that foot back, slide it. Open up those hips. Try to keep the outside edge of the foot down on this side and really drive the plant foot into the floor. So we're doing set of 10 on those ones again. So five on each side. Third one we're gonna do is what I call a 90-90 drill. So it's starting to work on just getting the hips to kind of move more dynamically once we've kind of stretched them out. So we're gonna start in a 90-90 position. So my goal on here is I want to keep both knees and both ankles down the entire time. Got a nice good 90 degree. I can start with using my hand if I need to, and then I'm going to rotate. Once again, I wanna sit up nice and tall, both knees, ankles, 90 degrees, good posture. As I get better at this drill, 
and sit up nice and tall, starting to learn to activate my hips and work on that without using my hands. So on that one, we're gonna do a set of 10, five each way as well. So first is the deep squat. We'll do set of 10, internal rotation, set of 10, external rotation, set of 10, and then we'll go to the 90-90 for a set of 10. Those are four great exercises. After you've warmed up, run on treadmill, bike, whatever, you know, hit that little circuit right there. You can even go through them twice, but great way to start to open up the hips, to get everything moving a lot better. You know, whether it's before a round, at the beginning of a leg day at the gym, or you know, just first thing in the morning a few times a week to really start to get those hips in a better position than they are now. So hopefully that helps.